everybody in this episode we're going to use scratch to draw a house this is a good um, beginning tutorial for learning how to draw learning the x and the y um, axes and adding um, some coding to it of course so first of all we're gonna and jump into events and we're just gonna start something on the click and then it's just gonna draw a house so Essentially, we're going to do a triangle on the top and a square on the bottom. A very elementary um, lesson, but good for all ages, especially beginning scratch beginner, beginner coders. All right, um, you feel free to change Scratchy. You can change it to any sprite that you want. I'm just going to leave him on here. And then we're going to introduce this right here. You might not have ever noticed it, but if you click the plus button here we're going to introduce pens there's all kinds of cool stuff in here so i'm going to introduce a pen okay so um we're going to need pen down and change pen um change pen size there we go all right to grab some controls and do this forever. Um, <clears throat> each time we're going to erase all and set pen to go ahead and do your favorite color. Um, you can of course like match it. So there we go. So you saw me hit this plus and so you can zoom in um, and say, hey, I want to black like his nose. Um, or I want it orange like his face. Okay. Um, or you can just go ahead and pick any color you want. Okay, now we're going to jump into some motions. And we are going to split this into X and Y. So just like you have talked about in math class, you have your X and you have your Y. Um, if we set scratchy and have them go to zero zero there you go you see where zero zero is so i'm going to set it um and these are just kind of some numbers that i came up with and as you type you can kind of see him jump up to there so i'm going to start at 133.97 you can kind of pick your own numbers in this top right quadrant um so your x and your y you want them both to be in the positive if i put them both in the negative you'll notice that it jumps to bottom left so you know in math class when you're like when are we ever going to use quadrants well bingo bingo there you go so this is good for math teachers and computer science teachers and engineering teachers okay um Next, we're going to let's see. Grab a grab a weight. All right, and you know what I want to do? I want to just copy and paste this like four different times. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it here. But of course, I want to change that. So I want them to go from uh, right up here to straight down and so i'm going to pick um, uh, the x is going to stay but the y is going to change to 101 and you can see it happening um, as we're kind of testing and that's one thing i really encourage all programmers to do all, all coders to do is you know um, as you're building just check your work add a couple lines of code and check your work especially at the beginning phases of this all right uh, the next thing we are going to do is I'm going to change the X to like negative 122. I could even go negative 133. Oh, no, you can't. See, that? there you go. So um, because I kept this positive, so let's throw that in the... Uh, negative and we want to keep it level all right and finally the 
the last bit of code for our uh, house. We want it at 133, but we want it to go uh, straight up to 97. All right, and it keeps going around. Okay, so we've got the house drawn. Now let's add a little uh, triangle on the top. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, we're gonna use the glide. There it is. And we're going to bring that in three times. We're gonna just stack them on there. Um, and I'm gonna say, all right, we're gonna stack it on there. Um, let's say I'm gonna have this go from 10 to 170. I'm gonna go 136 to 105. And I'm gonna have this go to maybe 98, 97. Uh, we'll see how that looks. These are numbers that I've worked out beforehand. There we go. So you can see it now. A couple things you can always do is you can say, "All right, I want to change my size." And what is what does it do when I change five? Oh, you can see it gets a little bit thicker. So you can go ahead and play with that. And of course, you can go ahead and play with your color. So um, this is just a very good introduction to with X and Y. It's a day activity, um, and it's good for kind of all ages. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a comment. All right.